Over here, Doctor. Good evening. I'm Dr. Kilmore. And about time, too, I may say. If this is the National Health Service, take me back to the leeches. Well, I'm sorry if I've kept you waiting, Mr... Bigger, Doctor. Mr. Francis Bigger. Bigger? Francis Bigger? Wait a minute, that rings a bell. You must be that chap who goes round saying that doctors and medicine are unnecessary. Well, I, I didn't exactly say that. You see, uh, I deal with the mind. Of course, yes. You see, if one thinks that nothing will happen to one, nothing will. What went wrong? Well, I must have stopped thinking for the moment. Well, let's have a look at you, if you'll just turn over, please. Well, I can't. I mean, I mean, I'm in agony. Help him, but, would you, uh, sister? Uh, yes. Oh, hang on a sec. Just back a bit. My, my thing's caught. I beg your pardon, Miss Stethoscope. Oh. Hurts a bit, does it? Just a whimsy. Mmm, yes, there's quite a bit of bruising there. You, you landed on your coccyx. I did not. I fell on my back. Your coccyx is at the base of the spine, Mr. Picker. Is it? Well, it's the first time I've heard it called that. <laughs> well, I don't think there's any fracture. Oh. But we'll x-ray first thing tomorrow. X-ray? Now, what could be wrong? Oh, well, it's just a precautionary measure, Mr. Bigger. I bet you say that to all the girls. <laughs> Do you think you'll be able to sleep all right? Oh, yes, of course. You've been a real comfort. Well, I'll give you a local jab to kill the pain if you'll just turn over turn again, over. please. Turn over. Turn here. Turn there. I wish I'd never come here in the first place. Oh, get out of it. Thank you, nurse. Sorry, sister. Fine. Now, this isn't going to hurt.
now. I wonder if she's in. Are you there? <laughs> yes, she's there, all right. <laughs> I don't think she's all there, but the sound of it is still. <laughs> Let's go and find out. Oh, um, uh, madam. <laughs> What can I do for you, young man? Ah, well, madam, you see, I have this problem. <laughs> I wish to God she was sitting in the audience, I'll tell you that. <laughs> now, listen, madam, look, if one wanted to hear the patter of tiny feet, and all one heard was the patter of an old comic... I mean, no, I mean... <laughs> no, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, look. If one wanted to have a, 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 a baby, you see, but f f one was getting on, and for some reasons, one couldn't. You, do you see what I mean? No, I'm afraid I cannot conceive what your problem is. Uh, that's, that's the problem. <laughs> you see, I cannot conceive. I'm sorry, I don't do sex changes. No. <laughs> Wait a minute. Look, you can have your lunch in a minute now. Listen, now, my, you see, it's not me, it's my mistress, because she can't. Your mistress can't what? She can't do it. Oh, well then she's a pretty rotten sort of a mistress. And if I was you, I'd get a new one. <laughs> well, she's enjoying the show if nobody else is. <laughs> but wait a minute, look. My mistress and my master want to have a baby, but they are getting on. Getting on is easy. It's getting off that... <laughs> All the, she's got all the best lines. It's not rational. Let me stop. Now, wait a minute. Stop stirring a minute. Look, my mistress and my master, uh, they want to have a baby, you see. I want you to cast a fertility spell. Make them younger. Younger. Ooh, perk them up. I've got the very thing. One moment, young man. Yes. I can find it. There it is. Oh, yes. Prescription for rejuvenation, ah. which you must take straight to the alchemist. There. Recipe number 33 in a plain brown wrapper. Ah, yes, yes. <laughs> Prescription for rejuvenation. Ah, now what I had to get. Yes. Take three... What? Take three handfuls of pig-fed toad droppings. <laughs> Will it be all right if I wear gloves? Oh. You must do, in case your hands are dirty. <laughs> a fool to have asked. <laughs> the juice of six cockroaches' livers, four grated cross-eyed... Wait a minute, what's this? Oh, let's get this right. Four grated crossed eyeballs. That's right. <laughs> There's really controversy over this. <laughs> crossed eyeballs. A pinch of goats' dandruff. <laughs> what a shopping list. Now, uh, finally, a tinge of garlic. I see. You are a cordon bleu cook, aren't you? <laughs> Thank you, sir. Now, listen. Yes. You must be very careful what drops to give. Yes. Now, ten drops to be ten years younger. Uh, ten drops to be ten years younger. Uh, Twenty to be twenty. Twenty to be twenty be, years younger. And so on. Yes, so, now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, look, suppose a man of, say, thirty took fifty drops. What would happen then? He'd disappear up the Appian Way. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We'll let you know. Goodbye. Don't worry. We shall meet again. Not on this show, we won't. <laughs>